Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to the part 2 of this beautiful business presentation tutorial. And here you can take a look at it again. And in today's video, we will learn how to design the cover slide and create the base for the morph transition, which is very important. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share this video. So in this video, we will learn how to design the cover slide for this presentation and also we will design this frame if you can see it on a screen let me change its color so that you can see it so this is the frame that helps us in designing this morph transition and due to this frame only the morph transition works so beautifully so you have to create this kind of layer and we have to hide these grouped items behind this frame. So we will learn that in this video, in this part. So let's begin. So here we can begin with by adding the brand name and on every presentation, you should add the logo or the brand name on every slide on the corner so so let's write the brand name so i have written creative venus increase the character spacing use some nice and beautiful font and make sure the placement is in sync with the overall design of the presentation slide so now it is placed let's add the slide number as well So here we can write 01. So this is our first slide with information. Make it right aligned and align it with this information card. And take a look at it here. And so so yeah, it, it looks fine here. But I think at the bottom it will make more sense. This will now balance the slide logo at the t uh, at the left top corner and number at the right top bottom at the right bottom. So now you can duplicate the slide here. We have to design the cover slide now. And for that. And before that, what we are doing is. We are writing the name of the slides the information slides that we have to add. So this will help us in remembering the slide names. So for example, the first slide is for the corporate, second for analytics, third for intelligence, fourth one will be for marketing, fifth one will be for investment, sixth one for results, and the last will be thank you slide. So now we have to design the cover slide and this will be the flow or you can say the agenda of our presentation template and you can change it according to the requirements so just duplicate the slide and then we will design this slide to make it look like a cover slide so remove the information box and just stretch this image and adjust the offset values for the left and right so that it doesn't look stretched and once it's done insert the image that you want on the cover slide so we are just using some stock photos from the Microsoft stock photo option which which comes pre-built inside this office 365 version and once the image is filled you can adjust the offset values and then remove the description and that blue bar and change the title for the cover slide and now you have to play with this text here so that it looks good 
and in place of number you can write cover so i have reduced the font size here i'm just thinking like what a gradient background will look like So now let's duplicate this title and here we can write something some information about this presentation like some report number or volume or you can also write the year like 2020 now what we have to do is we have to copy this blue small shape and paste it on the cover slide and the idea is to reuse it increase its height and reduce its rounded corner adjust the gradient to make sure that it is looking fine slightly increase the transparency uh, bring the text to forward so that it appears over this shape change the font color to white and now the cover slide is ready and we have to create that frame and for that you have to insert a rectangle shape over the slide change its color to light gray remove its outline then send to back now we have to duplicate the slide because we have to create that frame So you have to just right click over the slide and press duplicate it will duplicate it and remove all the information here and text from this information placeholder and we are just left with two shapes image and this gradient bar now again insert a rectangular layer change the color to white send to back and then change the color to blue so that we can see it select both these shapes go to shape format press subtract and same is the case with the second shape with the image and now this shape has these two windows which will become the frame for our morph transition and all the magic will happen behind this frame and it will create a very beautiful effect like these two information placeholders animate behind this frame so now we have pasted this frame over the first slide and our second part of this tutorial is complete so we have created the cover slide and this frame which is very important now we just have to learn how to implement the morph transition by adjusting the information. So wait for our third video, the third part of this video. Till then, please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and you can like the video as well. So see you guys in our next video. Till then, bye bye.